The Savannah River National Laboratory is proud to be a partner with the law enforcement community, state and local organizations, and the important work that you do to ensure the safety of U.S. citizens and to secure the important assets and borders of our nation. Our workforce is experienced in working in hazardous environments ranging all the way from radiological, nuclear, to chemical, to extreme temperatures, you know, up to including environments where humans really can't even be involved. We all know that the terrorist groups and other adversaries are constantly developing new approaches to challenge our security and our safety. And it is important that we also understand that every day you must be prepared with solutions that help you uh, deliver practical, effective solutions to those challenges and many times working in very hazardous and hostile environments. Savannah River National Lab has supported local law enforcement and other agencies with technical surveillance work. We have um, assisted with remote surveillance systems that could be used for covert applications in local law enforcement activities. There are a number of hazardous situations that we have been a part of. Um, there are, of course, radiological hazards where you don't want to send a person in because it's too dangerous. And there's also confined space issues. Uh, we have developed systems that can go through small pipes, maybe three inches in diameter, all the way up to 36 inches in diameter. So you have a confined space issue that would be a hazard for a person to go into. Here at Savannah River National Laboratory, we test and evaluate radiation detection uh, tools to equip law enforcement personnel in order to have the capability of detecting radiological material in out in the field, whether that be large events such as the Super Bowl. So domestically as well as internationally, it could be used uh, as well for protecting our borders. The REEF facility, Radiological Evidence Examination Facility, is a laboratory uh, that is run by SRNL to facilitate FBI examination of forensic evidence. At this facility, we provide secure, safe, and radiological protective measures for the FBI to conduct their work. So we've partnered with the Domestic Nuclear Detection Office of Homeland Security to implement their preventative rad nuke detection program assistance effort. That effort allows us to go to various state and local entities and train them on how to set up their uh, preventative rad nuke programs. So we put together the standard operating procedures for those events. In addition to that, there's instrumentation involved in that, and so we provide them with the instrumentation, and we also provide them with training on that instrumentation. And in many cases, if need be, we'll provide additional resources in terms of manpower. We have assisted the National Institute of Justice in search and rescue missions at 9-11. A team of engineers traveled to Ground Zero shortly following the 9-11 attacks and assisted on the ground, assisted emergency responders in searching for survivors. We had a number of systems that we developed on the scene for whatever the, the situation called for. A team of engineers traveled to Texas uh, following the crash of the Space Shuttle Columbia to aid the National Institute of Justice in looking for evidence in a lake in Texas. Uh, we use a remote underwater submersible vehicle to go in and look for evidence on the bottom of the lake. In addition to facilitating the traditional forensics, we have a nuclear forensic analytical center here at SRNL, which we can provide ISO 17025 accredited chemical analyses to complement the, their forensic work. One of the tools that we have here at Savannah River National Laboratory is what's called the Mobile Plutonium Facility. It operates solely internationally. Um, it is the world's only rapid response capability uh, designed specifically for the characterization, stabilization, and packaging of plutonium material for safe shipment. Law enforcement tends to look to us because of our experience in dealing with these types of materials. I mean, we've been involved with this since the 50s, and so we know how to conduct activities that need to be done in these environments. So I think you will see from the stories of our people that our motto, we put science to work, really represents our commitment to work together hand in hand with you to make sure that the, the new technologies and solutions can really be put into place and deployed in the field 
to help keep our nation safe. Thank you for your service to our nation and to our communities. It's our honor to put science to work to help you with your very important job. Thank you.